Hi golfers, Nick here from Nick Taylor Golf. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at Tommy Fleetwood's golf swing and compare him to the stack and tilt model. So in my opinion, I think Tommy has one of the best golf swings in the world of golf right now. First thing I'm gonna do is take a look at Tommy's swing compare him to sort of the 10 words of the stack and tilt golf swing. So the first thing Tommy does is keep his weight forward in his swing. When we're talking about the weight, we're talking about the lower body weight. If you watch in the backswing, he stays inside this line, and then in the downswing moves forward, so his weight is moving forward. He also moves his shoulder down. So when you look at his swing in the backswing, his left shoulder moves down, and in the downswing, the right shoulder moves down. Next thing we take a look at is the hands. They work around the body in the downswing and through into the finish. The next thing we'll look at in Tommy's swing is keeping his arms straight. You'll see through the downswing into the follow through, how Tommy keeps his arms straight. And the final piece of the 10 words is the hips tucked in the finish. As he goes through, you can see how his hips push forward of his upper body and extends his spine into the finish. So when you take a look at the 10 words of the second tilt swing, Tommy does all of them. Three key fundamentals of playing good golf and in the second tilt system, first of all is contact. And Tommy makes really good contact. He hits the ball first, then the ground. So his low point is in front of the golf ball. The next thing Tommy does well is create power in the golf swing. He hits the ball a long way. The third key fundamental is controlling the curve of the ball. And Tommy hits a draw every time. You can see his club path is in from the inside. It's a nice high draw with every club in the bag. So Tommy does all the three key fundamentals with the stack and tilt swing. He does all the 10 words. Now let's take a look at his swing in a little bit of detail and compare it to the stack and tilt model. So the stack and tilt model swing I'm gonna use for this video is Charlie Wee. He's been working with Mike and Andy for the longest time out of anyone, and his swing is very close to what you would call the model golf swing. Like I said before, stack and tilt is a system for playing golf based on those three fundamentals I mentioned earlier. If we were to choose a model swing, Charlie Wee would probably be the closest to it. So we're gonna look at both angles. First of all, let's take a look at the face on angle. So in the back swing, both of these golfers keep their head in the circle. And if you look at their lower body weight, you can see it turns just inside that line. So all the best golfers, they turn without swaying their body to the right in the backswing. Now, as we start down, as we come down into the downswing, what you'll start to notice is that Tommy's head starts to drop back slightly, whereas Charlie Wee keeps his head pretty stable. Both golfers are moving their hips forward in the downswing here. So as they're coming into impact, both of these players have their weight forward. The biggest difference I see is that Tommy Fleetwood's head is slightly behind Charlie Wee. And there's a reason for that, which we're gonna dive into when we look at the side view in a second. But as we continue into the finish, both these golfers, would, you would say, have slightly shorter finish than, say, the conventional golf swing. So there's a lot of similarities that I can see from the face-on view. So let's switch the camera around now to the side view. Now, from the side view here, we're looking at the swing plane and the swing, the club path as it comes into impact, and the exit position. So both these golfers, as they set up and take the club back, both of them move their left shoulder down, they change their knee flex, which is a really key movement that all the best players do, and it's in the stack and tilt model swing as well. Flex the left knee, straighten the back leg. That's gonna help you turn your hips on a tilted angle and to the most degrees. So by the time both these players get to the top, in the stack and tilt model, you would suggest that the left arm doesn't lift above the shoulders. Now, I'll put these two lines on here, one for the shaft, one through the top of the elbow. And what you'll notice is with Tommy, his hands were a little bit higher than Charlie Wee at this stage. So because of this, if Tommy was to come down in the same sort of swing plane, he'll probably come slightly out to in. But if you actually watch, Tommy shallows the hand path and the club path in the start of the downswing. And he does this by tilting back. If you remember from the face on view, Tommy tilted his head back, which increased the shoulder tilt on his shoulders, and that helped him sort of shallow out the downswing. Whereas with Charlie Wee, he stays very stable, which would be the stack and tilt model swing. So coming down here, both these players get to a very similar position at shaft parallel. So this is position six, one of the key positions in the golf swing. And you can see here, both these players have started to turn, they've started to move their weight through, and the club head is just inside of the hand. So from this position, you would expect a slight draw. Now coming through to the finish, you can see the club exits just below the left shoulder, which would be sort of the on-plane position. So. Both these golfers have moved their hands behind them in the downswing and into the follow through. So they're swinging on a circle on a tilted angle. So both these players have the shorter finish. And I know Tommy's been asked about this position before. That's one of the big things that he's changed in his swing since he first came on tour. And that's the sort of iconic move in the stack and tilt swing. He did a lot of like straight arm swings where I had to turn my body. Um, so there was a lot of like windmill swings going on. 
And all of them, basically, what we did was there was no hands and no wrists involved. It was all body and all connection. And um, the more I practiced it, the more it became apparent that it was um, like a good thing for me. And I just, I ended up starting playing like that. I mean, I get absolutely nothing out of, once the club's here, I get nothing from going long. Uh, so actually, it's like a little bit of a waste of energy. So to summarise there, you would say that Tommy ticks all the boxes, all the fundamental key things that Stack and Tilt Swing does. However, if you were to compare him to the model in a bit of detail, you can see that he has that slight tilt back with his head in the downswing. But he kind of counteracts that by moving his hips forward as well. If he just moved backwards with his head, that might shallow out the strike and the club path into the ball, but he would probably move the low point back. So that's probably why Tommy has that quite excessive hip slide towards the target. We do suggest to do that in the second tilt swing just to help move that low point forward and also keep swinging outwards at the ball. So in my opinion, I think Tommy's got one of the best swings on tour and expect him to continue to win and hopefully in the near future, a major too. So thanks for watching golfers. If you want to find out a little bit more about the second tilt swing, check out this playlist here. If you don't already, please follow my other social media platforms and we'll see you again soon for another video. The most